Hey guys, want to learn two amazing simple card tricks? Then this video is especially for you. Any of you will be able to repeat these tricks, because the secrets of these tricks are not complicated. Even a beginner can do them. Well, let's go ahead and watch the first trick. First, I'm going to shuffle the cards so you know it's fair. Of course, I'll cut the deck once to make sure there are no cheating tricks. Now I'm going to ask my spectator to choose one card. For example, he chooses this card. It's my favorite card, the five of clubs. Good choice. I'm going to put it in the deck and shuffle it. Well, that's good enough. In order to find your card, I need 11 friends. Let's count them off. These are the handsome ones, I'll take them one card at a time. Now I'm going to put my palm over these cards and rub them together. As you can see, there's only one card left and that card is your five of clubs. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this trick and now we're going to learn it. First, of course, let's take the cards and shuffle them as we know how. Now invite the spectator to choose any card. For example, he chooses the four of spades. I hide the four of spades in the deck, but of course I control it and bring it to the top of the deck. Now it's on top of the deck. I can still shuffle the deck using Injog for appearances, but the card will still be on top. Now we continue to shuffle the cards one at a time and on top of our four of spades I put ten more cards. One at a time, like this. Next I use the injog again and complete the shuffle. Now my four of spades lies eleventh from the top of the deck. Now tell the spectator that you need 11 friends and start counting off one card at a time from the top of the deck, like this. When you reach the 11th card, put the first 10 cards under the bottom of the deck, like this. Now start rubbing this card with the palm of your hand and you get the illusion that there is only one card left of the 11 cards and that is the 4 of spades. We're moving on, guys. Next up we have trick number 2 and it's also easy and you can learn it quickly. Just practice it and that's it. Let's get started. We're gonna take a deck of cards and we're gonna shuffle it the way we wanna shuffle it. Shuffle it in the most honest way possible, just like I taught you in my beginner's school. Make sure we cut the deck to make it fair. I'm going to take two cards for this trick. Now, I'm going to decide who it's going to be. For example, it could be an ace and a jack. I put each of the cards away in the deck and I shuffle the deck very carefully. I shuffle the deck very carefully so that the cards are sure to be hidden somewhere in it and so that you don't accuse me of cheating. Now 
Now I'm going to randomize the deck on the table and reassemble it. I'll do a snap of my fingers and my two cards will appear in front of you. Now let's learn this trick. Okay, guys, take a deck of cards and find a red jack and a red ace of different colors. We shuffle the cards, but make sure our top cards stay on top. I move these cards down, then return them to the top, like this. They end up staying on top of the deck that way. Now spread the cards out on the table, but be careful, no one should see the top cards. Now tell your spectator that you need two helpers. Have it randomly be a red jack and a red ace. Remove these cards one by one into the deck and shuffle them. Now arrange the cards into several piles in random order, but all the time control the pile with the ace and jack in it. Put the piles together and put the pile with the jack and ace on top. Now just snap your fingers and reveal the top cards. 